stop, drop, and let's do some art. All right, hi, my name is Dee Dee Potter, and I am with Murfreesboro City Schools, and I am an art teacher at Hobgood Elementary. So today, I would like for you to join me in drawing a contour, one line, one line only, owl today. All right, so first thing that you're gonna need to do is grab a Sharpie or a pencil. The cool thing about using a pencil is you can draw light until you have it right, and then go darker with marker. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with Sharpie, so that way you can see my lines. We're gonna start in one corner, and we're gonna draw an owl. We're gonna only use one line. So, that means I can't pick up my Sharpie. All right, so let's get started. Each item, I'm gonna draw and trace out three times. I'm gonna go up and do his ears. You could go to a point. Each line does not need to be perfect. And you're gonna trace each section three times. All right, I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna do the top part of his head. Several years ago, I watched a Meg Durkis video and she created this one line owl back in 2014 and I've loved it ever since. So we're gonna do three large circles, three smaller circles, one very tiny circle. We're gonna trace our way back out. I haven't lifted up my pencil yet, have you? Three large, three medium, three small, and then trace your way back out. I haven't lifted it up yet. Now we're going to add this little section that separates the head from the body, and then we're gonna add our feathers. You could do these pointed, you could do them round, and all they are is the letter W. Take your time. I'm going a little bit faster than I should, so this will give you time to work on yours. You can do them big or you can do them small. Then trace back up. Go to the other side. You're gonna do them on this side as well. So it's very symmetrical in that you're doing one side and the other, and they should look similar. But however you do yours, it's yours. So if you make a mistake, it just adds to the design of your owl. Now then, when you get here, you're gonna trace in, and you're gonna add some design within his body. So let's add some polka dots. Oh, but I can't lift up my pen. So they could look something like this. Still one continual line, I have not lifted it up. And now I'm gonna trace and go up to the top. Now then, up here you can add lots of little designs in here as well. Still haven't picked up my, line, my pen yet, so here it is, and I'm finished. Now then, looking back, I could have done many different designs I could have added in some, you know, wavy lines, some waves. I could have done uh, a plaid. Um, I could have done stripes coming up and down over here. So what would this look like as I'm coloring it in? Well, that's the fun part, is you get to use lots of different colors as you're coloring it in. So the object of the game is every little section that you're coloring in is going to be one color one little section is pink. So then I have to change my color. And when I move to this section, it's going to be a different color. And you're going to continue coloring it in until you've colored in your whole section. And then I can't use pink here. I have to use a different color. So let's try a little lavender. Okay, I'm gonna keep going until my whole owl is colored in and it looks something like this. All right, so let's show you what that looks like. 
Okay? Each section is colored in with a different color. And you can have fun with this. You can paint it. You could color it in with crayons. You could uh, color it in and then cut it out and then put it on some different paper. So have fun with this. Thank you so much for letting me to come into your home today and do a little art with you. You can find more lessons like this, including reading, math, science at cityschools.net. Just hit the Home to School tab. We also have a Facebook page where you can send pictures of your owl and what it looks like, or your bird and what it looks like. I would love to see those. Thank you.